Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your first HTML tutorial. I know I've actually made some tutorials in the past, but those weren't as good of quality as I'm hoping that these ones will be. Um, I figured I'd leave them up on the YouTube channel just in case you want to look at them and view them and see, you know, some of the stuff that I was talking about before. Um, but just so you know, the, some of the audio and video is, have uh, some problems. They're out of sync, and in one of the videos the audio actually appears to be a little slowed down for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but uh, hopefully these ones will be better quality. I'm using a Logitech headset mic now in a different screen recording program, Screencast-O-Matic, which you can uh, view at screencast-o-matic.com. But hopefully these will be a little bit better in quality, and we'll be able to teach you some HTML. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you, give you a little bit of information what HTML is, um, how it's used, and how to set up a basic HTML page. So uh, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And it's more of a scripting language than it is a, a true programming language. But it's used to basically tell the browser what you want to be displayed on a page. And a lot of times they'll combine HTML with JavaScript and PHP um, and CSS, XML, stuff like that, just to create more dynamic and better looking web pages, uh, as well as web pages that have better functionality. But for the purpose of these tutorials, we're just going to learn some basic HTML. Um, in this tutorial, um, I'm going to be using, in basically all of the HTML tutorials, I'm going to be using a program called Notepad++. It's a free program and it allows, um, I think, more f features and functions than the standard word processing program or uh, Microsoft Notepad, especially when it comes to programming. So you can actually uh, download this from notepadplus.org. Uh, you just come on over to their website and click on the download link and you should be able to uh, choose the one that's right for you. So. And also it's free, so it's a good program to use. But anyway, if you don't want to use Notepad++, you can use Microsoft's Notepad, but as you'll notice here, it doesn't feature syntax highlighting and stuff like that, like um, Notepad++ does. So you might have a harder time reading the code, but it's entirely up to you. I actually used this one before I found out about Notepad++, but once I learned about it, I discovered that it's a lot better when it comes to programming. Um, so let me just get out of this. Alright, so here's Notepad++. Once you launch it and you're ready to create an HTML page, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually save your page so you can reload it in the browser and see what it looks like. So in order to do that, all you need to do is go to File, Save As, and just to make it easier to see uh, where the pages are and find them, I'm going to save it to the desktop, but you can choose to save it wherever you want. So for our HTML document, we're going to save it. You can call it again whatever you want. I'm going to call this first.html. And that as the file type, I'm going to select, see if I can find it in the list here, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. hypertext markup language or HTML. If you're using Microsoft's Notepad software, though, you're going to have to type in, uh, choose all files, and then name the, make sure you name the page as something.html. The .html is really important, otherwise it'll be probably just a regular text file, and uh, it won't display to a browser properly. So once we save that, you'll notice it changes over here and we're ready to go. So, it actually also when you do this in Notepad++, it'll set the syntax highlighting so everything's highlighted in colors, which is nice so you can tell you know what's what. So, anyway, in order to set up an HTML web page, if we uh, actually load this in a browser like Firefox, and you can do that by going to should be an option to open something in here. A uh, new tab, open file right here. So, we can open up our first Dot HTML, and that'll show us this is our web page right here. It's absolutely blank um, because we haven't entered any code in here. So uh, let's start doing that. In order to set up an HTML document, you need to use a bunch of tags. HTML consists of mostly closing and ending tags, um, and anything between those tags has the settings applied that those tags have. So, for example, every HTML web page has these two basic tags HTML into closing HTML tag. And what these tags tell the browser is that we're going to be using an HTML uh, HTML code and that this is an HTML web page um, and to load it as such. So as you notice the closing or opening tag rather has two brackets and then in here is the HTML or what the tag is rather. And the closing tag is the exact same thing but with a forward slash basically cutting it off if you will. So anything between these two tags is going to be HTML and anything outside is probably not going to be HTML. So if we go ahead and save this, 
and open it up in Firefox or just refresh the page, you'll still notice that we have nothing. Um, the only difference is that the browser now knows we're using HTML and uh, you can actually check that by going to view page source and you'll see that we have the two HTML tags here. Uh, this is actually the viewing the source is actually useful if you want to see what other websites uh, what their code looks like though it might get really complex depending on the website and what languages they're using so it's always interesting just to see I guess if you want to but anyway back to the HTML. Okay so now we have our HTML tag set up uh, we're going to add a couple more tags. Um, we're going to add a head tag and again a closing head tag. Most HTML tags have opening and closing, so uh, though some don't. You, there's websites that you can look up these tags and stuff if you're interested. Okay, so HTML we have our head, and anything in here is not going to be displayed on the page between the head tags, but it will be displayed. Uh, it could be displayed up here or to search engines and stuff like that. So for he in our head tags, we're going to include a title. And again, we have our opening and closing tags. And anything that goes between these two tags is going to be the title right up here in the browser. So right now, we just have the name of the file in the location on our computer. But we can change that to whatever we want it to be. So since this is our first HTML tutorial, I'm just going to type in first HTML tutorial. And that's going to show up as the title. Uh, so if we save that and open it up here, you'll notice first HTML tutorial. Um, so let's go back to our code here. Um, so the title is, should be included in the head, though not all the time you're going to have the head or the title, so it's up to you what you want to do. And then after that, uh, we're going to include a body tag, and then a close body tag. And whatever is between these two tags usually is what shows up here on the website. So uh, anything that you type here, basically, if, for example, if you type in just some jumbled characters, it'll be displayed on the website. But in the next tutorial, we're going to learn how to add and space text, so uh, that might just come in handy for you. So that's just a kind of preview. So anyway, this is uh, how to set up a basic HTML document. Remember that we have our opening tags and our closing tags, just to uh, keep everything organized. And anything between the opening and closing tags um, it has the settings applied to it. And you'll see a little bit more later how this works out, but Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, please feel free to give me any suggestions, questions, comments, um, and I'll try to answer those for you. But anyway, in the next tutorial, we're going to be learning how to add and space text, so feel free to check that out too. Thank you. Have a nice day.